Well, well, well. We're back for another trailer reaction. Um, this is going to be a trailer reaction for The Batman. And if there was ever a trailer to react to, it's going to be this one, right? I mean, these are one of those big movies that everybody kind of anticipates. And I'm certainly a giant Batman fan. It's my favorite superhero ever since I was a little kid. Uh, so... While I'm always excited to see a new Batman, I'm also can be a little picky. Um, I've heard a little bit about this new iteration. I think it's maybe uh, Arkham Asylum influenced a lot. I think the film itself is based off of the Long Halloween comic. It's Batman in year number two, from what I understand, and it's starring the... Robert Pattinson as Pattinson the Batman. Um, he was the Twilight guy, which a lot of people kind of made commentary on when he was announced. But I've seen him in stuff like The Lighthouse and loved him in that. So I don't really have any particular opinion on, you know, whether he's going to be great in this or not. But I certainly hope he's great. So enough chitter chatter. Let's uh, get to watching the trailer. stop it right there real quick already like the the tone and the coloration of, of I guess you know Gotham um, I love the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy but I'm liking this is a little darker and grimier than that which I'm already really into When that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. Okay, a couple things. Loving the tone and the visuals of all this. Um, something I've mentioned in other trailer reactions. It's just a little nitpicky. It's not really the Batman's fault. Because, as we know, totally separate companies make these trailers. I'm, I'm so tired of the, the rock songs or pop songs being used in trailers. Like, I don't know. That's just me, though. But, yeah, having Nirvana in it, you know, it's not a bad choice. But I just it kind of takes me out of it a little bit, that's all. Um... I mean, the Batman looks great. The Bat voice is better than Christian Bale's Bat voice. I'll give it that. All right, let's 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 just keep watching. I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun! This is a powder keg. And Rither's to match. I can take care of myself. If this continues... It won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care what happens to me. It's only gonna get worse for you. Go, oh, take it easy, sweetheart. You hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? I'm vengeance. Who's black and blue and dead all over? You. Dick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> got you! <laughs> I got you! 
that's a lot. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll give it that. Lots of great visuals. Um, I mean, as far as Gotham City goes, that might be the element of this I'm like the most excited about. And I mean, yeah, the Joker's been done a lot lately, and I'm glad it's moving focus away from him. Like, in this... Uh, I know we got Colin Farrell playing the Penguin. He's that guy I think he was chasing in the car. Saying he got him. I got you. They got the Riddler. Catwoman. And I don't know the Long Halloween too well, but I mean, that's just exciting. And I mean, it's that was the issue with older Batman movies is probably by the time they got into Batman Forever and Batman and Robin they tried to like just cram in as many villains as they could without it like going together necessarily this actually seems like they're allowing the whole city of Gotham to operate in this story and the different villains are actually in positions in the story where like it's coherent it makes sense um, get to see some of those new characters like Andy Serkis as uh, Alfred and Riddler was one of my favorites when I was younger uh, my favorite when I was little was always Two-Face but then I really liked Riddler like Joker actually wasn't even in my top five so as a fan of the old uh, animated series uh, I'm pretty excited for this uh, if I'm being honest, still feeling out Robert Pattinson a little bit, but nothing bothers me about it. I'm just trying to see if I'm really digging it or not. Catwoman looks great. I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, color me excited. I can't wait for this. Now it's, instead of a long Halloween, it's just a long wait. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on this trailer reaction. Uh, if you like this or some of my other ones, or even my album reviews or The Jacob Wayne Show, please like and subscribe on this channel, and uh, have a good one. Ta-ta!